so you power your PC on and you got no display and you see this on your motherboard it has a steady light in either of this debug LED in this video I'll let you know the meaning of each debug LED and give you a possible fix we'll tell you everything you need to know coming up hey what's up guys this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one if this is your first time consider subscribing with that said let's begin we actually have four debug LEDs on your motherboard, aka the CPU, DRAM, VGA, and boot. Not in particular order. Each one has different meaning for PC user to easily identify the potential problem and fix it accordingly. Now let's start with the easiest one first. DRAM LED light is always on after powering your PC. This simply indicates that there are no RAM sticks seated on the RAM slots or there is a single or more faulty RAM sticks. The first thing you gotta do is to reset the RAM sticks because this might be loose or not seated properly. Simply remove the RAM sticks and place them back again, then boot your PC. If that does not work, then clean the RAM sticks this way. Use an eraser like this. Erase the dark residue on the RAM stick circuit connectors because this dark residue causes the motherboard not to detect the RAM sticks. Remove the eraser dirt and place back the RAM sticks before powering your PC back on. If that still doesn't work, perhaps there is a single or more RAM stick that is faulty and we need to check which one is not working properly. Now to check, all you gotta do is to try one RAM stick at a time and boot your PC. Usually, a faulty RAM stick will not let the PC boot so if you found which one is faulty, just don't use it anymore or just replace it. Now let's move on to the next debug LED. VGA LED light is always on after powering your PC. This indicates that there is no graphics card or your graphics card is already faulty. Now to fix this, all you need to do is just to reset the GPU. Basically, remove the GPU and place it back again because it might be loose or not seated properly. If you have already done that and still does not work after powering the PC, then you also need to clean the dark residue on the circuit connectors of the GPU. As I have mentioned earlier, this dark residue causes the motherboard not to detect the GPU as well. If this does not still work, I suggest asking a friend to try your GPU in the rig to see if it's still working. If the results are the same, then I guess at this point, you need a new graphics card. Now let's move on to the next debug LED. Boot LED light is always on after powering your PC. This indicates that there is no boot device or boot device is faulty. Now to fix this, you need to remove and place back the SATA cables on your boot drive if you are using SSD or HDD as boot drive. Or simply remove and place back the M.2 in its slot if you are using M.2 as boot drive. Try to boot the PC again after doing so. And if that still doesn't work, then replace the SATA cables with new ones boot the PC and see how it goes. If that still doesn't work, then detach the other drives besides the boot drive and boot the PC again. Because the other drives might be interrupting the boot process because it's too old or the drive is too full. This applies to the very old HDD or thumb drive plug in your PC, so remove it if you have any. If none of this works, then your boot drive might already be faulty. You need to have it tested in another working PC to double check. Now for the last debug LED, we have the CPU LED lights always on after powering your PC. This indicator means that the motherboard does not recognize the CPU, which could mean a number of things. It's possible that the CPU is not plugged in correctly or one of the pins is bent if you are using AM4 CPU. It could also be the CPU fan is not plugged in, and finally, a dead CMOS battery could also cause this to trigger. In some cases, the motherboard just need BIOS update to recognize the CPU. Now this might work or might not work, but we're still going to try it. So remove the CPU and place it back again. Make sure that it is seated correctly. Remove the CMOS battery for 5 minutes and place it back again. Afterwards, also check if the CPU fan is plugged in. Try to boot your PC afterwards. So if this does not still work, you can also have the BIOS updated accordingly. I will not be able to show you how because that topic is a whole video of its own. If your BIOS is already updated and now compatible with your CPU and still doesn't work, perhaps the CPU is already broken. Rarely happens but it's not impossible. Have it tested to a different PC to double check. 
if you don't have an extra PC at home, you might need to go to a local shop at this point. I hope this video helps you fix your PC or at least give you an info on what you should do next. If you got any more questions, just write them down in the comments below or check the other possible fix on your screen. So that's it guys, this is Mac. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.